Well, here we are, two of us anyway. Yeah, I don't know why they don't all get on before Ed. It's <laughs> a lot easier. Just keep yeah, it's on. true. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't respond to you earlier. I just found it today when I was looking for the meeting. I went, I didn't tell uh, you I'm going to be there. <laughs> no, no problem. I heard I didn't hear from Manir yet anyway. But as long as I more people I hear from, the easier. Yeah. How are you feeling? Okay, finally. <laughs> Good. Well, I was away last meeting. Yeah, I know. Sick before that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was in the emergency room and I'm like, oh, I'm supposed yeah, to be I, in a meeting. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, I was like, oh, well, you, you never know when you get there how long that's going to take. I know. So how's your back? It's Good coming. Back? It's probably 90% now. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm, I do a lot of walking. I, I'm in the gym. I have a, uh, I still have a little bit of weakness in my um, hip flexors that allow me to lift my legs, but that's a... I think a result of the surgery. It's getting stronger, so I'm I'm pretty close. Oh, good. Not dealing with really a little bit of discomfort, but not really much pain. Yeah, not like before. No, no, not before. It's coming. All right, where's everybody? Come on. I know. My husband sets an alarm that goes off at quarter to seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we don't because I forgot one meeting. I actually. <clears throat> forgot until the meeting was almost over so now we set it when i know the meeting is because otherwise you get busy you know it's after dinner you turn on the news and suddenly it's like oh, yeah i do the same meeting. thing i've got the news on i i click on see what time it is a couple of times oh my goodness it's like 6 53 or something i need to you know, go he on. has the he has because an alarm that rings yep. at 7, 6 45 it starts ringing it's a good idea yeah because at least that gives me plenty of time to get on yep. Maybe it's just going to be the two of us. I, I don't know. Could be. So I missed what? the discussion. What's going on with the guy in the that wants to build the well? Are we sympathetic to him or are we not? I think increasingly sympathetic. I See, I'm we, not. <laughs> we, want to, we want to find a way to make to help it him out. For him. Yeah, that. help him out. But it's just we're not really supposed to be giving well permits. You know, well, no, yeah. we're, we're not. But this one has it's got we, we talked about it last meeting. There's there's so many things going on. Here comes like I need to admit it. I don't know why I need to admit, admit Ed, but I just admitted him. I think he says you are the co host with I, yeah, I am the co host, but he's also the host, so he should be able to admit himself. <laughs> we'll right see what happens. Right? So somebody has to let there him he is. be the host. Yeah. Now we're in trouble because Ed don't remember to let anybody in. I know, but. It'll show up on my screen unless I get into the minutes. Ah, there he is. 
There he is. Hi, Ed. Oh, how are you doing, guys? We're um, here. We're here. Yeah. We getting. Oh, wait a minute. Where's my? Ed, you got a really funny glare on your face. Well, it's because of my screen. Oh, it's, it makes you look like a ghost. My hey, screen is white. It'll when it turns black, it'll go away. Okay. But so not, they knew it wasn't sunshine coming in there because. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the, not today. Let's see how much. Uh, we got two point oh one inches of rain so far in the last twenty four okay. hours, and that's not the, the end of it. Two, the so. Tonight, we're probably going to get another two to three inches. So that's going to be a washout. Well, I wasn't planning on going anywhere anyway, so. Yeah. Well, I hope we have electricity by the end of this. Yeah, that's all I hope for, too. The ground is very soft. I'm going to see what the radar says here. It'll come up. Oop. No, we're not done yet. Another band coming in a few minutes. Oh, really? The rain is supposed to die down. The wind is supposed to pick up. So it's a trade off. Yeah. We had a lot of thunder and lightning last night. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I heard I heard some. I was surprised. Yeah. It woke me up. I couldn't figure out for a second what it was. Yeah, because it was such a weird sound in October. I know. <laughs> I already got chainsaw action. Yeah. <laughs> you got chainsaw action? Yeah, I got a tree down across my drive. Oh, so you can't already. go anywhere till you get rid of it. Uh, well, actually, I had to walk around it to get home. <laughs> well, as long as it didn't hit a power line, you're okay. Yeah, I missed the power line. Good. Good. Yeah. If it was all underground. We wouldn't ever have to worry about it. Yeah, but you know, when they got to fix it underground, it's not that easy to find it. <laughs> no, but. It's certainly, why would you want to find it it's, you, if it's not giving you any trouble? <laughs> but it does. Watch when, the, watch when the light goes out, a whole light goes out on the side of the highway. See how long that takes before that gets fixed. Because yeah. they can't figure out where it's, <laughs> the wire's messed up. Yeah, but I think we'd solve a lot of problems. Hi, Carrie. There's Karen. Hey, welcome back, Sharon. Thanks. <laughs> so who invited him? <laughs> you back in Florida? No, no, I'm still here. I almost took a new picture from the cruise ship balcony. I had a nice stunt. <laughs> I said, no, I like the one I got already. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> well, you guys need a you need to see what we're doing. I just have it on my other screen. Uh, Raisin. Who are we missing? I don't see Stan. I know Stan is coming. I haven't heard from Muneer. Yeah. I don't know if Muneer. I haven't seen him in a long time. He was at the last meeting. There's Jerry. Oh, was he? I just did. I'll meet Jerry. There's Jeremy. Yep. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. You got another, uh, are you ready, um, Tony? We're, we got another minute. Yeah, uh, yeah, give me another minute. I'm gonna, I've gotta click out of this so you'll be the one that admits people. It should show up on your participant screen. You're still waiting for Stan. Yeah, it should come up, Yep. I hope. I know Stan's coming, so. Yeah. Yeah, this should give a notice, I would think. You have to check it, though, to catch the notice. <laughs> well, yeah. If, you, if you're doing a display, if you're showing a share, it sometimes doesn't come up. <laughs> Yeah, I know Stan is coming. He said he'll be here, so we'll probably give him a minute or so. Yeah. It's only 
Oh, yeah. Making all that noise in my background. Oh, yeah. You. Sorry. I'm a different peppers. I know, but, you know, it, can, it goes across my video here. I just muted myself. What was that? No. Oh, Sharon, you just unmuted yourself. Be careful what you say. <laughs> just told my husband he could go get some vinegar. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> All right, where's Stan? Yeah, no, as soon as I, as soon as I go into the minutes and so sh uh, show Stan and Manier not here, they'll come. Then I'll have to go fix them. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the minutes anyway. Yeah, because you, you, once you go there, it's tough to get back, right? Yeah, I'm gonna start correcting the the uh, attendance if someone shows up. Just tell me. Yep. All right, so we're ready to begin. It's seven o'clock or seven oh one actually. So I'll call the town of Ledger, Connecticut Water Pollution Control Authority regular meeting to order. Um, Stan is here, or Stan just showed up. He, yeah, he's in. So give me give me thirty seconds to do the attendance thing, okay. and I'll assume Manir is not going to come, or if he comes, he comes late. So I'll tell you in a second when I'm ready to go. Yeah, the members. Give me a second here. Oh, come on. Roll call, don't do this to me. Who are you gonna make uh, a voting member? Jim. Okay. I'm just trying to get to this though. Come on, it's messing up. I don't, I, see any second. I don't see any residents or property owners, so we'll... Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and move on and I'll I'll play with roll call here. Okay. Uh I'm gonna bring up the minutes. So are there any corrections, additions, or omissions? There's one correction. And and Terry had a couple as well, minor corrections. Okay, Terry, <laughs> did you give yours to Tony? Yeah, I sent them by email. Yeah, well, there's I a found, they were just spelling ones. Found... There's a I'm sorry, there, there's a spelling one, there's a <laughs> An, uh, an F that should be a B That's and the mission yeah. should be singular. Okay. These are just editorial corrections. They're not yep. regular corrections. Okay. So they're just mainly gram grammatical spelling. Yep. That's all they are. So we don't need to, as amended, we just need to move, no, okay, move them good. in second. So, uh, I'll entertain a vote then all those with those amendments, but uh, all those, um, uh, the, <laughs> All those that are approved the minutes of uh, September 28th, 2021, signify by saying aye. 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 Abstain. One abstention. But Ed, you didn't do a first, you didn't do a motion or a second. Tony needs a motion. All right, so uh, all, so I make, yeah, a, I, I make the motion to approve the minutes. And tell I'll second. second. Well, well when in doubt, Sharon, Ed makes the motion and you second. Right. Okay. <laughs> I just do that automatically. All right. <laughs> so it's, it's, uh, it's there approved. Mm -hmm. As indicated, now we have the operations report with Ray. Uh, the one thing uh, that uh, we'll talk about this in the uh, old business, but Ray did Ray and I did go out to um, properties 170 and 150. Uh, these are the individuals that are petitioning for a well. We'll discuss that later as to what what the resolution of that is. Um. But is, does anybody else have any other comments about the operation report? Um, I don't, what am I? If not, we'll move on. Agent report. Um, oh, by the way, Bill, I, everyone knows Bill's not here because he's in a hunting expedition. Um, I don't see, we've collected 135,000 for September. I don't really see anything uh, of note. It's like we're collecting our funds. Any any comments? Hearing none, we'll go to the water budget. Um, I have no comments. It seems like everything is basically normal. Nothing unusual. Nothing came out. Um, same thing with sewer. Um, 
even the electrical seems to be behaving. I don't know why. Uh, and, and other expenses seem to be normal. And then we'll go to the uh, operation report for the, um, now we will be talking about, there, there is an impact with, with Don going to, uh, from LaFleur Electric going to Florida, that has been our most reliable subcontractor electrician. So we're going to be we're going to be looking for um, we're going to be looking for another hopefully a, a, the same kind of quality service that we've got in the past. Uh, I will also be talking about the meeting we had with Paul Russell Smith and Loveless in the old business. Also, uh, Lakeside has had a major problem with a four-inch valve um, that we're going to re uh, we're going to replace. So we've had, to, we've had to do some cleanup there. That valve failed and when it did, it started pumping, spraying sewage everywhere. Um, anything else? Nope. Don Shellhammer recommended somebody, is he of the same company? E Andy no. Sincali, is he from the floor? Um, no, Andy, uh, Andy Sincali is a, he's, He's not an electrician, he is a control person. So we know those trades are kind of different. Sometimes electricians can do control. Sometimes control people can do the, you know, the heavy electrical, but, but these are two separate um, skill sets. And Andy's a great resource for the control, the control panel and doing the programming on the, on the uh, Allen Bradley PLCs. But Don was also a good guy with uh, instrumentation and, and electrical, so we're going to miss him. But he's not. No, he's not with the same company. I, he he, uh, I believe he went on his own, or or is working for another company in Florida. Um, so that's the impact there. Okay, I don't have a status yet. I think the contracts have been signed by the so an old business, the Gallup Hill demo. Uh, the contracts have been signed. I don't know and and. Um, uh, Groton Utilities is managing this, um, and they have the contracts in place. I don't know the start date for that. Um, number two, I'm going to share, let me see if I can get to it, some pictures. I don't know you guys have seen these pictures, but let me go and share these pictures. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, here we go. So let me, uh, this is the top of the tank. You can, it's kind of, it's updating. You can see that's, that's peeling. Another picture. Uh, I'm not really sure what this, but you can see the, the, that um, the tank needs painting. This, this is the bad news. I guess <laughs> this is the guy that's up there taking the pictures. Yeah. Go back to this one, but we're going to be faced with having to paint the tank. So, so at the, yeah. the the black stuff on the top is just dirt yeah. from the sky. So we wipe you wipe that clean. You're down, you're down to getting to the red, the well, it's not it's a primer, different color. So it's going through that and so there's some peeling. Most of it's like the side of the tank, it's chalky. So when he was up there, he wiped that down and everything comes up. But yeah, you're in the Usually paint coatings last 20 years and you're in the what the six fifteenth to sixteenth year. Plus the roof is the first one that takes the beating because it's the obviously the highest one and there's clouds. Yeah, what concerns me is the well. So I'm kind of got a hand on there. there this this is what can, can corrode and cause some real issues. Yeah. So yeah, when I look at that that well seam and I see corrosion on it, that's not good. You know, I know it takes a while for a well to fail, but that, you know, the plate itself has to be painted, but that that's the other thing too I'm concerned about. So Ray, we'll have to entertain bringing, um, you know, we have to bring, we, we're gonna have to get a request for quotes on repainting this tank. Well, I know it's there's two things with that, cause I'm, I'm working on one, I'm a commissioner in Waterford too, and we're doing the same tank same type of tank, 750,000 gallons, and we just started out, we just finished the inspection and we're gonna, they're writing up some plans. Uh, it's about $2 million. Oh, wow. Paint, 
inside and out. That tank hasn't oh. been painted in over 20 years. It's it's in bad, bad shape. I think the last video inside, the tank isn't that bad. Uh, right. So I don't know if we look at just clean, cleaning this tank and painting it uh, outside because you really can't take this tank down because you'll have no water. Right. So we would have to look at either bringing a temporary pneumatic. Uh, they have them on trailers and stuff, a pneumatic system and hook it up and run the system that way Why this is down because it takes about three to four months of painting if you're going to do inside and out or just get the coating down. So <laughs> It's just a couple ideas that you can throw around. We can look at it. Uh, yeah, I, I, thought the, I thought the last report we had in the inside tank, it was in pretty good shape. Yeah, I have to take a look at it. I forgot to take a look at it. You guys should have it, but I'll, I'll take it. If not, I'll forward it back up to you. If not, mm -hmm. it's not that bad to get somebody in there with a robot and right. just uh, drive around, check it out. Right. Is it the same company that does the inside and the outside? Yeah, we, you can get that. Yeah, we have a different company we've been using. And so the same one over here. Uh, and they're pretty quick on it. They have a mini mini robot now. A little camera guy drive up and down in the water. Doesn't do a lot of disturbance, so you can keep the tank on. Good. So, I'm assuming they've got a sandblast this outside exterior. Well, there's a couple different ways to do it. Some of them... Uh, you either sand blast you, or you try to water blast. You, you know, none of this is contaminant. It uh, doesn't have lead, PCBs, or nothing like that. But yeah, you have to encapsulate the whole tank. You can't let go, anything go in the air. So we've cleaned them before with chemicals and also just rolled them after to paint them. So there's, there's different options. Uh, you know, if we had a tank in Groton that we were looking to put up. Uh, it would, we could take this one offline and this would cover, you know, run at each one, but that tank hasn't gone up yet. And it's a few years out because uh, it was supposed to go up for the Mystic Oral School uh, and help Aquarian out, but that didn't happen yet. What is that? Uh, is that an air intake? <laughs> yeah, what I think that? that's a, uh, I was looking at that and that's just uh, somebody, they had a hole there for some reason and put a boot over it. Oh, so it's, so it's not an air and it has its own vent system on it. So usually the vents are much bigger than that. Okay. to keep the air going back and forth. It's usually a 12 inch pipe or 24. So yeah, I, I, I saw it after I was going to have him go back up. I said, ah, don't worry about it right now. Yeah, it looks like it's it may be used for uh, recycling or recirculating. Hmm. Anyway, um, okay, so this is something that we're probably going to be looking at, you know, next year because we're not the weather's, you know, I don't we're going to do this till at least the spring. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. we we've got time where we can put together a, a bid package and you know plans and specs and go out to bid on it over the winter. Yeah, I'm wondering um, how we're going to pay for it. <laughs> you know, that's that's my ne that that that's my next concern. Um, you know, even if it's seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, it's a lot of money. It would take everything. I thought, I thought the chairman paid for it. Isn't that your job? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> um, anyway, that. I don't know if that qualifies for the opera funds or infrastructure funds. We'll have to see. I know that uh, Marsha wanted to write up a um, some kind of bonding for getting rid of the rest of the demoing the rest of the site. So that's something this like might it. be a better thing to put in the bonding package then. I think so. Yes. Yeah. So we're. I have no. I agree, and I. I think that's what we're going to have to look at. I have no status on yet on, on item number three in the old business, which has to do with some additional quotes we need to to finish up some of the some of that business. Um, Village Drive. A quick question on just to finish up on the tank. If we yeah. just do the outside, rough idea of the cost, just the outside. I would think it would be at least a minimum of seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. 
All right, thanks. Yeah, could be more. Um, it, dep it depends. You know, I, you know, Ray, I wish they could uh, use an epoxy coating. They make it last forever. <laughs> they, they do now. That's one of the uh, oh. the the things is for epoxy, but it's still they only guarantee it for twenty years because it's out, outside it's taking fifteen. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they have a whole bunch of different types of paints now that uh, you can look at. Okay. Any other questions? All right, we're going to move on to the the waste treatment facility feed pump status. I'm going to share. I'm going to share something here, and this is going to be a discussion. Um, let me see where is it. Uh, where did you go? Um, hold on a second. Oh, here we go. You guys see that? No, you didn't because I didn't share it. Okay, here we go. All right. So you see this Smith and Loveless Series 3000 Quick Smart Control and Tip Output. Now, let me give you some background here. What we're trying to do is remove, we're, we're, we're having some trouble with a pump down that's, that's you know, about 15 feet down in the underground and uh, some valves, they failed. So the whole idea is to put the feed pump station, this is what feeds the um, SBRs above ground. Actually, where we'd like to do is put it right on top of the, the, the well, the, um, the tank, the feed tank. Now, th this, is, this is interesting. If, you, if we were to have an engineering study done on this, you're looking at a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars just for an engineering study. It hasn't done anything yet. So Steve and I put our heads together and said, "Wait a minute, we can save the town and everybody else a heck of a lot of money if we go with a company that that builds skid-mounted or modular um, units. It's all self-contained. You can see in the picture here that there's a hood that opens up. All the controls are in there. All the valves are in there." All the pumps are in there. Everything's done. All the engineering's done. And then if we employ a, a, a contractor that puts these things in, we're going to save about $100,000 minimum in engineering cost. So what we're proposing, but the only way this is going to work, and that's why we're having this discussion, is that we single source this project. This company, Smith & Loveless, this is, they're the number one in the country that, that puts these together. As a matter of fact, I believe they're the only ones who make them um, the skid mounted, this whole self-contained design. What we're looking at is a 3000 series. It's because um, it's PLC controlled. Uh, it will probably put in uh, 10 horsepower motors. Uh, all the controls are in place and all, all the engineering is done. So it's the, actually the manufacturer that's guaranteeing this thing. And all I'm going to do is cor uh, cut some holes in the concrete um, tank up on top and insert this with a, you take a crane and you insert it in there and then you have to do some downstream piping and that's it. Um, but again, the only way this is going to work is we need a single source. This, this, this unit cost 70, about $75,000. I don't have the formal quote yet. He was supposed to send it to me. I haven't gotten it, but he gave me that estimate. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be that plus or minus. Oh, and then, Ed, we, Ed, yes. Can we also avoid some some rip out? Uh, just leave the old stuff in the ground. Correct. We would not do anything with that. We would now. Somebody said got to tie in the pipe somewhere. Well, well, the, the, well we're going to be bypassing. But some somebody said that other people in this state and in Massachusetts who use these units, by the way, we've got we've got some good um, feedback from them. <laughs> they pour concrete down the hole. Now, I don't, I'm not suggesting we do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want a big concrete bubble down below with old equipment. But yes, Terry, we would not demo this. We would maybe pull out some stuff that, you know, maybe the pumps, the two pumps that are still working, one is not working, and sell them because we, we wouldn't, there's no use for them. Those pumps are, are flooded pumps. The pumps we see here, 
actually have vacuum pumps on them to, to cause the vacuum so that you get the inflow into the pump, right? It's all automated. You don't have to do anything manually uh, because you've got to raise that head up. Um, what's really neat about these pumps is they're designed to literally bypass big stuff. So it doesn't plug. It, it, it'll, buy, it'll actually pump rags and anything else. We don't have to chew up uh, we don't have to chew up the material. As a matter of fact, they have evidence to show that when you do chew up the material, what it, what it does is ends up downstream and plugs your pipe. So it's no benefit to do that. It's, be, it's better just pass it right through. But the only way it's going to work, guys, is we have to, I, I, you know, I have to go to the town council and present this. I, I, I mean, I have a list of reasons why we need, we, can, we need to single source this. I mean, obviously, one is we avoid the engineering cost. Number two... <laughs> It, you put some holes in the concrete and, and then you, you do some prep work, it avoids shutting down. We, they, they can get this all up and up and running within a couple of hours, um, even less than that. So if we do some upfront work before these arrive, uh, and they're going to be about a 12-week delivery time. So it's going to be in the spring before we can do this. Um, that we would avoid having to do, but we could do some temporary bypass if we, if something were to go wrong, but, but it also avoids downtime. And besides, you know, again, we avoid the engineering cost, uh, but then we're also dealing with somebody uh, who's very smartly engineered this and uh, has grave reviews on, on the way it's used, but we would have to single source the, the manufacturer and the contractor. I don't want to go with a contractor that has not installed these things. Are there uh -huh. other vendors for the similar product? Not that I'm aware of, Stan. I mean, there might be, but I haven't found any. I mean, the, these guys, they're, they're, uh, they have, uh, somebody was telling me about 75, 80% of the market. Did you, you know, check sell. Rumpus? Ed? What's that? Rumpus pumps. Did you check them? Uh, no, I haven't checked. I've heard of them. I have not checked them. I, yeah. I did. Well, we can go look. Uh, I just like the idea of uh, it's it's an outdoor thing. They actually have heaters in there. Okay, that's part of the deal. keeps it keeps it warm and keeps it from freezing. Uh, but look at the access. You open up the hood and you know you have easy access. You don't have to go down in a hole. Um, but but Ray, we could we could check. We we could check with them and see what they've got. Um, yeah, what I, if it uses a ton of those? Yeah. Are there any drawbacks to having it above ground like that? Or is it because it sounds pretty good, but is, is there like a catch? Is there anything? No, I mean, it's actually, this is one of the most popular things being done today. Mm -hmm. wow. uh, they mentioned um, Putnam. They mentioned about three or four different sites right now in Connecticut that are pulling the units from below ground. You could say engineering wise, you don't have to pull a vacuum. Um, you know, these pumps are flooded, so they just take off uh, when you want to start them. But, you know, in today's technology, that's really not an advantage. The biggest advantage is being able to get at these things at will. Right now, we have what's called a confined entry. We need two people to get down in there. One person to be standing uh, on the ground above and watching the other guy come down. The other problem is you got a thin, a small hole to get all this equipment. And there's very little room down there to do, to even muscle a wrench. Um, so it, I, I'd be honest with you, I don't know why they put these things underground. I have no clue why this was a popular thing 60 or 70 years ago. Because um, they didn't free, free That's how they got the suction head right. I guess. Yeah. And I guess freezing. The, yeah. Well, no, the free, yeah, there, there's a there's a freezing component. But again, um, you know, heck, our screening plant didn't have a cover on it for years and it froze. <laughs> yeah. We had to build a building for that one. Um, yeah. so, you know, so that's, that's, what's coming down the stream. As soon as we get the, the thing, I'm going to be asking us to discuss, I mean, Ray, we'll take a look at them, um, and see what, what they, what they have.
but I'm going to be tending toward this skid mounted pre-engineered don't need to do anything, but drop it in and mm -hmm. start it. That's It'd be easier to request a bid waiver if they were the only manufacturer of this particular thing. Yes. And it, and it uniquely solved the problem. We could, I think we could do that, but we have to verify that. Yeah, this is, this is what I think it will solve our problem. Um, the mayor already knows, I, I mean, he, I think Bill and the mayor, they were thinking we were going to be spending over 300,000. So the other part of this is we're going to be saving money. Um, you know, to come up to the town council say, well, you could go the bid way process way, but please be known that it could be $300,000 versus, you know, no bid, which, which we're going to not, you know, involve engineers. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I think, I think you've just mixed two things. I think even if there's another company like Rumpus Pumps or whoever the other one that was that Ray mentioned, even if we had to go competitive with this above ground solution, it's still the right solution. No, it's the right solution, Terry. What I'm implying is that the other, if it's if they don't have a skid mounted design, we may have to go with engineering. Well, that that's what we need to find out. I mean, right. if, if if there is nobody who does the same service as Smith and Loveless, then then I think we can justify the choice. Okay, yeah, that's my thinking. Yeah, we 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 we're. We're going with with uh, all the smart technology they've got with this. Um, okay, let's go back to. Um, Real quick, did you say that the company services the the unit? If yeah. anything, yes, they do. Okay, awesome. Yeah, they 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 they. We have a local distributor here. Um that we would contact for, for, for service. Um, whoops, let me go back to this. All right, so um, hopefully by next time we'll, we'll have, um, Jerry, we'll, we'll have some more information so we can proceed with the project. I'd like to, because it's a 12 to 16 week delivery time, I would like to do this hopefully next year in the spring. Um, Okay, now let's talk about uh, 150 and 170. So the owner uh, had contacted me and, and he, <laughs> unbeknownst to me, he's actually uh, built his house. Um, I didn't know that he was that far along. Ray and I went out there um, and we took a look and, and the, pro the, I mean, the, the um, the boundary, the property lines are obviously way within 200 feet. Matter of fact, there's a 12 inch main on the other side of the road. And we've had this discussion last meeting about the meter pit. Um, I had to do some research. I had to understand what is going on. There was a lot of misunderstanding uh, the communication. Uh, Ledge, he had a letter from Ledge Light in 2006 uh, that had approval for a well. And then I got another communication from Ledge Light that said, no, that the only people who can do well exceptions is the Department of Health. Um, so I said to Ray, well, we're going to have to, there's, there's no excuse. He, he's going to have to tie in. However, I, I actually was able to, I, I got a hold of uh, Eric McPhee from the Department of Health. Uh, we had a good talk. I sent him all the information. And it's the proverbial, I dropped the dead chicken on his desk. It's his decision between him and the, and the property owner. You know, I left the, I, I mean, I, I sent the application into um, Department of Health re, uh, rejecting the application. Uh, however, I, I did indicate to him that this is a, you know, this is a decision that the Department of Health makes, not us. And he, he agreed, he said, yes. So it's no, it's it's out of our hands. Good punt. What's that? Good punt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm going to do. Hey, I'm going to do the same thing with 150. I'm 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 oh. I'm going to give him information to Eric, uh, and say, look, this is your decision. I I did say that we are willing to put a meter pit there. He wanted to know that. So you are yes. Uh, but but Bill's not here, and I, I know you're here, Sharon. 
one of the things that's making it expensive is when they, so, so here was happening. They got approval for a well in 2006 because there was no 12 inch main there. So since that time, there's, there's a 12 inch main. We put it up to the um, senior, the, the senior uh, center, but they didn't, the contractor did not put any laterals, not one. I mean, you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to put, you know, the possibility, and actually you, you really should dig up the road and put a, 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 a the, 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 you know, the, the, the possibility of a meter pit on each of these property lines. And that was not done. So that's expensive for us. When we have to put the meter pin in, we have to put the lateral in too. Um, and this is a lessons learned. When we put, when we do a, a water extension, we really need to look at the property that it's going by and make sure that we have the ability to tie into that if that property is going to be developed. Um, but I can see the confusion. I can see where you know this this Cooper subdivision was done prior to 2006, and there was no water there. Uh, it was about 900 feet away. Um, but you're right, Sharon. We did the punt. We said, you know what? We're willing, depending on the DPH's decision, we will give them water. Or if they so desire, they can get a well exemption, but we're out of it. So, so if there are any other questions, let me know, but we're going to move on. <laughs> you're discussing 170 right now? Yes. Okay. Yes. 150 is is not what 170 to be okay I, i'll give you some some observations that um ray and i saw 170 could have gotten an easement and cut his the water line length by a third i mean almost down to a third of what he would have to if he follows the driveway his driveway goes kind of like northeast and then goes southwest it's kind of like a L shape to, to get to his house. It's a flag lot. But as you know, the shorter, the shorter distance between two points would be a straight line from his property line on Gallup Hill right to his house, but he would have to get an easement. So I was a little bit baffled why planning and zoning didn't discuss that with him. You know, that's not our thing. That's planning and zoning saying you got to tie into water. And by the way, you, you need to get an easement to, to make it easier. 150 is um, a little different. He's actually a lot closer. Um, his driveway. Now he hasn't put a house in yet, but his but his driveway is a little bit is a little bit simplified, and and he could put the water line there. So anyway, I don't want to belabor this too much, but that's that's where we stand. Now I need to share um the next item is, is there any other questions anybody have any other questions on the 150 170 so ray i guess the point is we should hold off until tph makes a decision on those lots yeah because we talked to the gentleman from 150 he called uh doug up and he said we told him we were going to put the service to his property line and he's he was fine with it he just said he had to go back to uh Butlins to talk to them, but if we're we'll, if we're going to do both, you know, if Eric's going to make a decision on both, we'll just wait till somebody says yes or no. Right. I don't know if Eric's aware of 150. I did give him a hint that there was another okay. one coming, but but he but he is working on 170. Matter okay. of fact, he asked me in a follow up question about what he is he expecting correspondence from Ledge Light, and I said I don't think so. I gave him all the information that I got from Ledge Light. All right. So um, so he has it. Okay, now the status of the uh, sewer line. Let me uh, let me bring up um, the communication with Jeremy, and let me see. I got to share it. What happened? Right. Hold on a second. I got to stop the share here. Oh, I already did. Let me see if I can get up. Okay, here we go. So here's the status. Uh, actually, I need to go down here because he, he had a couple of questions. Uh, let me bring this up. So he says he's currently working to incorporate the sewer extension and they'll be done. He's talking about, this was incorrect. He was talking about some non-eligible low CIP funding item that 
um, at any rate, especially it'll follow the Connecticut DOT standard format. Now here, here's a, uh, so he's got a, so that they, they should be done by November, but they're recommending we do borings and probes along the proposed sewer route to a depth of 10 feet to quantify the anticipated rock quantities for the prospective bidders before the project goes out to bid. So I agree, we need to do this. He calls this a task amendment. Um, so the multi-use fact would buy, they'll be done by mid, mid November. Now, the funding, uh, the, the challenge grant, the, the, the Connecticut Community Challenge Grant, the application is now available. Uh, I will alert Juliet that, that uh, was writing the grant that she can get the application. The intent to apply form is due December 3rd. Then the application deadline is January 14th. And then the announcement is done in March and April, tentative. Now he shared with me why we need to do this boring. Now, Ray, I thought you, when you put a, the water line up uh, Colonel and your highway, I know you hit some pretty big rocks. Um, you were you involved in that? No, you, that was a Rich Johnson uh, deal. But uh, we can look at. I don't know if they put any profiles down for a rock, but usually we we measure it and label and station it. So I can check the plans to see if there's anything floating through there. That might help. And I um, think we I sent the plans down to Steve to uh, Maslin at one time for the locations, but. Yeah, we can take a peek because I don't know what you paid for rock if there was any in that area. But we can look at it. I can let right. you know. He, he's just showing pictures here of where the trail is going to be near, and he, he's highlighting rock outcrops. And this is along Colonel Edget Highway, mm -hmm. and he's circle. You know, he's just circle. Now this last picture, it's not they're not building it on there, but he just wants to show that there are more ledge outcrops along the way. So that would be helpful, Ray, because I think, you know, it, it certainly makes sense that if we're gonna bid, the, if they're gonna bid this thing, we, I don't know why they gotta go down 10 feet, but um, we, we probably- <laughs> should. Yeah, It's kind of deep. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why the 10 feet, but I think uh, guys, we are gonna have to anticipate a separate little <coughs> to, to do boring along the way. All right. Any other questions on that? Or um, okay, let's go back. Any other old business? Think of anything before I go to new business? Uh, let me share this again. What happened to my share? Okay, hold on. Resume share. Oops. What are you guys actually seeing? <laughs> You're not seeing the minutes, are you? Not anymore. We see your mailbox now. I don't want to show that. All right, here we go. Let's try back to the minutes. Okay. Now, there you go. All right, so we're going to new business. Okay, uh, we need the approval of the Water Pollution Control Authority calendar. I did not see any major conflicts. Wherever I, saw, I saw one, Ed. The uh, December 27th is the Tuesday between Christmas and New Year's. Uh, why don't we uh, meet a week earlier that month? All right. And I what, saw the same thing. So that would be December 20th? Mm, yeah. All right. So I'll make a motion to approve the meeting calendar for 2022, the WBCA, uh, with the modification that we meet on December 20th. Now, isn't that interesting? Because I'm looking at the Agriculture Commission and the Retirement Board and they're doing December 20th or December 19th. I don't know why we're doing the 27th, okay? Are there any other modifications? Second. Second, okay. All right, so uh, if there's no discussion, I'll entertain a vote. All those in favor? I'd like to point out that we're only good if we're still meeting by Zoom. Right. If, we're, if we're meeting in person, we, we just put ourselves in conflict with the Agricultural Commission. Well, yeah. either that or we'll meet in a different place. Is that possible? 
Well, yeah, but well, we'd have to work that out because they're the third right. two. Of course, they're at six and we're at seven, but. Yeah. Uh, well, we could make it a different date before we do the, do the vote here. Um, I can modify the, the, the motion. But I also. going to be in person? Or, or was, was I'm thinking it's going to be in person. Maybe we should do, if it is a conflict, maybe we should do it in Zoom, even if we were maybe hybrid or in person. That may be a good plan. Yeah. Nope. We, we leave it on we leave it on the 20th and go, okay, we don't have a meeting. I, I think we could do that. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, uh, all right, we'll entertain the vote. All those in favor of approving uh, the schedule signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, those opposed? Or uh, some abstain. Hearing none, is, it passes. Okay, the last order of business, and I don't think there's going to be any money left, Bill. But okay, um, they're thinking of using ARPA funding for repairing some of the Highland drink uh, water distribution system. And Ray, you're the only one who can tell us where that money could be spent. <laughs> <laughs> you want the list now? <laughs> well, I, I, you know, all seriousness, we are going to need a list, right? Yeah. Uh, with a priority up, you know, with the list, the top priority on top, we're going all the way down. Okay. Um, I know that you've been having trouble with high pressure on the bottom part of this distribution system, correct? Yeah, you have a lot of uh, the side streets are all like two inch. Uh, cast iron with holes in it that we keep repairing and stuff. So we can, uh, we, we have a whole map of every, since we've taken over of uh, running at the, of what we've had breaks in. So we'll get a map and I'll take a look at it and go in priorities for you. Okay, what's the standard today? What, what would be the standard today? What would you put in? I, I don't mean just the ID sites, but I'm talking about material of construction. Uh, ductile. A ductile? Okay. Yeah, because like a meeting house, you have one main that we had that break in that's uh, seven feet down. Right. Uh, and then you have all the side streets are two inch, inch and a half. And that's not even, you can't, you can't put a hydrant up there. Minimum main for a hydrant is eight. Uh, we just have to look at how many people uh, are on these mains for water quality. So some of them, what we do is put fours and put a blow off in the hydrants at the beginning of the road. So, you know, for fire, you got to change everything you do now. It's within 500 feet of each other in a, in a district, in a district that you, know, you have to look at the houses and stuff. So. Has okay. the council approved any of this money for anything? What was the question, Sharon? What? Has the council approved the expenditure of any of this money? It's $4 no, million, no. right? No, they haven't. The mayor has voiced his support behind the ledger center sewer line right. and, and the feed pump uh, system for the, to, so we can handle the higher flows. But I have not heard any other, you know, I, I did hear, well, if you go down Sandy Hollow Road, you know, I did hear something about uh, the guardrails or the lack of Congress. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, this, this is just, I was a little surprised that this just sounds like a repair and I thought you had to spend this on new, new things. You know, um, I thought the whole idea was to put in new pipe, put in new sewers, put in new stuff. I didn't think you could use it for repairs. Yeah, I think there was, I, I, I did we meet, I, I'll uh, share with you with the whole commission is I believe I have, uh, somebody sent me the criteria, the state, cri the state criteria for spending this. And I thought there were um, upgrades, you could do upgrades. So this would be considered an upgrade because you're, you know, you're changing a, you know, one and a half inch line to an eight inch line with, with a fire hydrant, I guess. I, mean, I don't know. Um, but let me let me go back. I have that document. You could you could you guys can take a look at it. Um, but this is Bill. I mean, he's putting up a request, um, and I think and, and yeah, he, we should pursue it. And, and one of those things, Sharon, is going to be: does it really qualify? <laughs> yeah, for the funding. So. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much money, and we know the sewer line is going to cost a lot. And you're looking at 
the other thing that was going to be a hundred grand. So, you know, it goes pretty fast, scarily. Well, no, it does. And the other thing to consider is if we get that community grant, it will cut the sewer line cost in half. So instead right. of sp spending 2.1 million, we'll be spending, you know, a million. So there'd be a million given back to the town you know, to spend an opera fund. So that, and you know, I'm looking at the criteria. If this doesn't qualify for this community grant, I don't know what would. I mean, we that we check off all the boxes. Okay. You know, so, and I know you can't put any political pressure on this group. I, I don't know if, you know, we talked to Kathy Austin or Chris Conley, whether that would help. But um, I, I don't want to be overconfident, but boy, we sure, it sure looks good for us to get that. So we would get that money back, but you're right. If we don't, you know, we've already spent $2 million of the four. And I'm sure there's a lot of other people that want some of this money. Um, I won't tell you who said this. Uh, the answer to that is correct, but they are all pipe dreams in, 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 in the opinion of this person because they wouldn't qualify for this opera at all. You know, it's pretty well ag agreed that this sewer line thing for the for the community center is, you know, that's a given. You know, nobody's gonna, nobody's even gonna buy it an eyelash that we spent the money on that. So, okay. Uh, I have I a question for Ray. What's that? I have a question for Ray. Can I ask him? A question? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, of course. If, Ray, if, if you were gonna replace a distribution system like the Highlands and you knew that you were going to do it in sections, would you start with the trunk or the branches? I, I would start with the trunk. Matter of fact, I'm doing, I just did a, finished up a $9 million design for Groton uh, in a Pequannock Bridge area. We've been working on it for three years. Uh, crews are doing it with replacing uh, the main line and going down the side streets as we go. We divided the whole place up so it's it's the same as what you need up here but mm -hmm. you have 10 inch uh you have different size pipe that i don't know why anybody even thought about using them so some spots the main's too big for where it, what it should be and other spots it's too small so that's part of your hydraulics that you have an issue with okay thanks <laughs> Yeah, I don't, Terry, I don't expect that they're going to be doing any de development or bigger houses in Highland. So I don't, yeah. I think, I think the water load and the pressure is going to be the same. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's just, it's just a matter of, you know, where, where do you dig first? You know, what's, what's the logical approach to the thing? And, and probably uh, since you, you've got a bunch of different, uh, pipe sizes in the branches now you might as well put in the trunk so that it all the taps off the the trunk are going to be the right size for the the eventual branches yeah i i would think one of my concerns would be ray is that if, if let's say there are some fire hydrants that once they, you know god forbid there's a fire that they use the fire hydrant and then all, all the rest of the downstream homes are you there they have vacuum they open up their water and they get a vacuum <laughs> Yeah, well, we noticed that during hydrant flushing, uh, we can't flush different areas, uh, open up two hydrants because it doesn't doesn't work out. So, yeah, I'll get the map for the next meeting. I'll get the breaks that we've had and some ideas so you can at least just take a peek and uh, see what you want to do. Thank you, Ray. Yeah, that, that's good. That'll I'm sure that'll satisfy what Bill's looking at. We can you know, present it that way. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Uh, is, are there any other questions before we adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Good motion to adjourn. So move. Second. Have a good night, guys, and stay. Uh, Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye, everyone. Good night. Happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy Halloween. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>